This is an iPad with an 11 inch display. And this is an iPad Pro with a 13 inch display. But these Vitcher Luma Pro XR glasses allow me to have a display on either iPad that's massive. My name's Frank and here on this channel, I like to look at ways that we can use technology to be more productive, to teach and to learn more effectively. I have a master's degree in learning and technology and I've been teaching for many years. iPads are great devices. I've been using them, well, actually since the iPad 1 and recent changes to the iPad operating system have made them even more useful as a productivity system. The operating system is getting more and more useful and just does more and more things in a way that's fantastic. But we're always going to be constrained by the size of the screen on the iPad, whatever we purchased at the time we got one. When you're deciding on an iPad to buy, it's often a balancing act between getting something that's a little bit smaller but more portable and something that might be a little bit larger but maybe a little harder to carry around with you. I find both of those are okay depending on whether I'm carrying, you know, a briefcase or a backpack, whatever the case may be. But what I've been doing to really expand my, my screen options lately is getting the Vitcher XP Pro glasses or the Vitcher Luma Pro glasses that were just released in order to allow me to mirror the screen of my iPad and have a much larger screen that I can work with or in the case of the iPad Pro even have an additional screen so I can have privacy on that additional screen and extend the amount of applications that I'm using at any given time. They're very powerful and very useful. So what exactly are these glasses? In this video, I'll talk about using the Luma Pros on my iPad Pro. These are the latest glasses that have come out by Vitcher and they're very, very nice. They have a lot of features that are very useful, especially if you want to wear them all day long and you want to have that additional screen. So the way that these work is they are XR glasses, which stands for extended reality. And what I'm able to do is I'm able to tether them onto my iPad through this cable. So I'll use the magnetic connector to put them onto this USB-C cable that will go into my iPad and then my iPad will show up on these glasses in the screen. There'll be a large screen in front of me and I can set it up to either be a mirrored screen to my iPad or I can actually extend the screen. But that's not all. I can also use an application that runs on my iPad called Spacewalker that will allow me to control the glasses and do some very cool things like take 2D images and turn them into 3D images including games. They're very interesting. Let's take a look at the features of the, of the Luma Pros, some of the physical features, and then we'll have a look at running them on the iPad. You control the Luma Pros through the arms of the glasses. There is a button that you press on the left hand side that will then allow you to use the rocker switch for contrast as well as pressing it twice allows you to look at volume. On the right hand side you can do things like shade and unshade the glasses as well as a camera on the front that looks at your surroundings so you can lock screens in place. That's important with the Spacewalker application. The glasses have a translucent look to them so it's kind of cool looking you can kind of see some of the electronics inside the arms and you even have a lighting effect and Harman speakers so you have really high quality audio and what's nice is when you're wearing them with your iPad nobody can hear you you can hear it but nobody else can hear you the glasses are also highly customizable in terms of comfort and fit and this is important especially if you want to wear them all day long so when you have the glasses, you can see that we have these nose pads. They're magnetic. You get additional nose pads with a little magnet on there. So you can get them fitting onto your nose bridge exactly the way you like them. There's different sizes that come and you just have to go metal to metal. It just magnetizes and goes in there. No, no fussing around. It's very easy to do and you can get the fit that's good for your nose. But it's not just your nose that you can adjust, you can adjust your eyes. So for example, if you have a little bit of a prescription, you have uh, up to plus four um, in terms of your prescription there, and we can adjust the arms. So we can actually adjust depending on where your ears sit. You can adjust the arms, get the perfect angle for your eyes and arms and ears, get everything set up really nice 
very comfortable to wear all day long. And speaking of all day long, when we use these glasses, they will draw power from the iPad. And of course, the iPad itself needs power. So I do recommend getting this little adapter. What you can do is plug your glasses into one port on the adapter, and then you can plug power into the other port, allowing you to have both power and the glasses connected to your iPad at the same time. I have the glasses connected to my iPad and I have my iPad on a Magic Keyboard. Now, what I'm seeing in front of me is not the camera, I'm not looking at you. I have a massive vertical screen in front of me. And when I use my mouse, I can actually go to that screen as a separate screen. I have the choice on the iPad to control how the glasses behave, whether they're going to act as a mirrored screen, whether they are going to act as an extended screen, and exactly where I'd like them to be, to the left, to the right, on the top or at the bottom, based upon the arrangement. So I can go in and you'll see that it recognizes that I have another monitor on here. It recognizes that it is a Vitcher monitor, and I can set my arrangement as to where I'd like it to be. I can mirror the display if I'd like it to mirror the display. So I have a lot of options in terms of this nice display in front of me, which is beautiful, beautifully clear. I can see it very well. And then I can actually work on this second screen. So for example, if I want to go in here and I want to open up something, I'll just have to bring this so I can see it and we'll click on it. I have actually gone in and on the second monitor, I've launched YouTube. So in front of me right now is a large screen showing YouTube videos, but notice on my main display, I don't have those YouTube videos. And if I was to play a YouTube video, I would hear them through the speakers on the glasses, but you would not be able to hear them. Now, in addition to being able to use the glasses to mirror your display or to extend your display on an iPad Pro, there's also an app by Vitcher called Spacewalker. And this is where things become really interesting. You can use Spacewalker on all of the devices that the Vitcher glasses work with, your Mac, your Windows machine, an Android device. But in this case, on the iPad, I just launched the Spacewalker app and the Spacewalker app will then allow me to have an environment in my glasses that I can do things like convert things to 3D, from 2D to 3D, so I can look at photos and see them in 3D. I can do things like watch movies and play games, all from 2D into 3D. I really like using these Vitra Luma Pros with my iPad Pro. I like that extended screen. If I'm doing any type of writing of a document or research or entering student grades in my case, it's nice to have that isolated private screen that nobody else can see. Plus, if I have any type of audio visual running, I get the, the speakers on the Luma Pros that will allow me to listen to that audio without disturbing anyone. So if I'm studying or going through any learning materials, I can do so privately without disturbing anyone. I really like that. But you know, Vitra does a lot more than just connect to an iPad and provide another screen. The Spacewalker app is amazing. That also works on your phone, both Windows, iOS and Android. Plus they have an Android neckband that you can connect these to and that creates an entire ecosystem by itself. You can do all sorts of things. I connect them to a Mac mini. I connect them to a Surface Pro. I do have some other videos on these glasses and I'll make sure to link those down below and at the end of the video so that you can check those out as well. But I'm very happy with these glasses and there are some other glasses that Vitcher is uh, coming out with soon. There'll be another version just called the Luma, which will be available. That's a little less expensive than these. They also have another version that has more functionality called the Luma Ultra. I'm very excited about the Luma Ultra because I think they have a lot of applications in education. They have some AR features that I think are going to be very interesting. And then later this year, they're coming out with one called the Beast. So that's got some beastie specifications to it as well. There's a whole, there's something for everybody in that lineup. And I think if you check them out, you might, might find something that is interesting for you as well. But these ones, these Luma uh, uh, Pros, these are absolutely game changing for me. I've been using them in so many ways across so many different devices that these are always with me. They're going to be a constant, um, constant device that I have in order to be more productive, in order to learn more effectively. And you know what? Yeah, I'm going to place 
some games with these. There's also a hub. You can connect your Switch to them, your Steam Deck, your gaming consoles. It really is pretty amazing. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and give it a like because that helps the algorithm. And comment, what do you think about the, the Luma Pros? Are you going to wait for the Ultra or the, the less expensive Lumas? Or are you going to wait all the way to the end of the year to the Beast? I wouldn't do that. I'd get these as soon as you could. But uh, anyways, there's all these different options. Comment down below on what you think and hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Take care.